In business, you have these three roles frequently mentioned, entrepreneur, manager, and technician. I would love to translate this a little bit and mention other three roles, leader, manager, and technician. Just because many times a very good entrepreneur has a lot of leadership traits in it, and while growing a business, and especially in the first phases, it's a lot in the leadership seat. And so what I want to point now out that Yes, these roles are very important. And if you are an entrepreneur, you need to have them all three. But the problem is that you cannot be a good leader in the same time with being a good manager. It's just not possible from a mindset point of view and how your brain it works and functions. This is very important for you to know. And I hope that you will pay attention because I will give you amazing data and information which can just transform your life effectiveness and even your business if you take this into your daily routines. And why is this? So you cannot be a good manager in the same time as a leader or a technician. Let's just differentiate these roles because it's very important. In the leadership role, you are creating a light at the end of the tunnel. You show the way, you enrich, empower your people and even yourself, like knowing where you're headed. And so in this mindset, you are living in the future. You create something what is not here right now in the present moment. So you need to be very creative, open, and also challenge the status quo of things because you want to bring something new. And so here you are the excited person who just can take something from nothing and bring it to the future while empowering a group of people to come and join and be there on the way. So this is a very future-oriented mindset. But when you are a manager, things change. As a manager, you are in the present moment. You need to create systems to see, okay, so we want to go from point A, traced by the leader, to point Z, and on the way, I have this right now, in the present moment. What can I do with it? How can I transform what we already have in functionable pieces, leader steps, which will bring us to that future we desire together. And so the manager is very organized, needs to be detailed oriented and strategize around something, create a plan, a functional plan in order to succeed with the plan, to succeed with what was shaped by the leader or by the entrepreneur. While when you are a technician, everything is set, you just need to execute. It's like you are a worker in a fabric and you just put little pieces on the band and everything is just already strategized, organized, and so the systems are in place and you just execute. Most of the entrepreneurs, when they start a business, they create everything together in the same time and they are all over the place. They are leaders, managers, technicians, many times they are solopreneurs, they do all of those things together and this will become a big mess. When we take an organization, a leader, a good leader, can be also a good manager, but this is not necessarily true. And likewise, a good manager can be a good leader as well, but not all the time. And so you need to take this in consideration and come back to our daily topic, which is that you cannot be a good leader and a good manager in the same time, because your brain is wired accordingly and our brain function in direction. So you need to have a focus on what you want to achieve next. And if in the next hour, you want to achieve a plan, create a strategy around something, so the perfect role for you will be the manager role. But you already have a target in mind, you already created the desired future. And so if the, for the next hour, you want to create a plan, you need to become a good manager in your mindset. How you do this? If you are a newbie in this and you don't know the mind tricks and how to set up a successful mindset for yourself, then you can start with little steps. So let's say in the next hour, you need to come up with a good plan. And you know now that you need to be in the manager mindset mode. And so if you don't know how to switch between them, then just imagine, just start before you put anything on paper, you just create your perfect role. Okay, so for the next hour, I need to 
dot 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 what do you need to do what do you need to achieve with what you have starting from the present moment because as the perfect manager you are living in the present moment what do you have at the table what can you achieve with what you have to be according with your the plans with the future plans and so trace them from the present tense just by focusing on what you want to achieve in the next hour you will switch some new areas in your brain which will function better becoming more organized strategic seeing the details you need to create a bulletproof plan but now we are back to focus because it's very hard to be focused for a full 60 minutes and so what you can do now we have different kind of uh, breaks like some suggest that 30 minutes and at 40 45 or one hour if you just start with this then i would suggest to just create a perfect timing for you like for the next 20 minutes i will put a plan into motion and i will write up everything i can just from this mindset and after 20 minutes you will reassess this is very good because we pretty much don't function just in full gear for a full hour you should need to be in the flow and a very few times during a day we are in the flow state and especially if you don't know how to create that flow state and you are just starting then this is pretty difficult but for 20 minutes you can get pretty focused very focused on a task ahead and now you shaped what is that task about you are in the manager role for the 20 minutes you will come up with something pretty decent on your paper after the 20 minutes you will create a break because you just need to see okay did I shifted from my manager mindset mode? Did I shift it again as a leader or a technician or is this happened at first? So you evaluate this before going on. And second, if you want to become even better in your plans, go back to what you traced on the paper. And for the next 20 minutes, you will just improve what you already did in the paper. This is also a very good trick and you could just consider from the writer's block perspective. What is writer's block? You want to come up with a masterpiece from the beginning and you block because you are not in the mood, you don't feel like you have a great idea. And so instead of just starting to write something, you will delay this over and over again and then some months pass on and you will see that your book is nowhere to be written. So this applies in writer's blocks and it's a good example for you because in writer's blocks what you can do is to just start to write. Even relax, creating an expectation that you don't want to come up with a masterpiece. You can write any garbage you just want on paper because everything will come up to light through editing constant editing process. So you will just write for five minutes at the beginning, then 10 minutes, then 20 minutes, and then you just take a break. You will come up to that piece and you will start to refine it, reshape it during the next stage of your editing. And this is the way your masterpiece will come alive. It's just not realistic to expect that your first writing will be perfect, flawless, no. It will be flawless after a couple of re-edits and you know every time you come back to that piece you will find new nuances you will find new ideas you will reshape everything and you will get creative on the way so back to our manager seat it's the same thing applies checking your plan and for the next 20 minutes doing a refined new plan according to what you wrote already your second version will get better and you repeat the process. You take a little break after the 20 minutes, it can be five minutes, and you come back, reshape that. And in this way, after 16 minutes plus the breaks, you will have a pretty good initial planning on your paper because it was redefined, it was rethought, and because you got different ideas, different things to add, you noticed flaws, which were not there to be noticed for you because your mindset was not wired to just refine what you already did. And when you are in the technician mode, everything is simple. You already have the plan, you already have the future, you know what you aspire, you just execute. So this is something what every entrepreneur, but also leader or manager should know. 
when you give a task to someone, they already need to be somehow linked to the future vision, to what does this take, and then they just need to execute without thinking too much, you know? So it's an automatic process when you are a technician. This is anyhow the way it should be. Now that you start to know how these things work, you can create the same thing for the leadership roles. So what type of leadership role you have in the next hour, the next day? How do you start to enter in that role? Like envisioning your ultimate goal. If it's about a speech, if it's about talking with your employees, if it's about just creating a tribe, a group of people who want to do the same thing. You need to have a different mindset. Your energy level is different as a leader, like from a management stand of view. And you will enter in that figure of excitement, of motivation, of empowerment, of tracing a beautiful future for all of us, including yourself. You need to believe in that plan. You need to see yourself in that role. What type of speech or what type of engagement activities would lead your people, lead your people in the direction you desire? So it is different. And you can create this preparation before you enter in that role. And when all this becomes easy, you can just do this like pack in one instance, just focusing on your next outcome. So if you are an entrepreneur and you need to balance all these roles, every time before the role shifts, you just remind yourself that your focus now needs to go from this role to this role or to this role. Ah, okay. So now I need to do accounting. Now I need to talk with someone. Now I need to prepare the product. Now I need to write an email. What type of role is more indicated for my next 10 minutes? five minutes, one hour. Simple. If you apply this principle, the way the mind functions, and you create a system where you can just switch your mindset according to the rules, you can accomplish 10 times more a day than before. Just juggling between everything in the same time having all those circuitry which works like zzz, you know and when nothing is clear enough for you and when you get tired with anxious tendencies stressed unfocused unable to see the flaws unable to see the errors even if they are in front of you because you are not wired in the right circuitry to see what it's there or to bring people where you want to go. So just play with these roles, start making them clearer, and after some practice, you will notice the difference. But the difference is noticeable after your first task. Just setting yourself, putting yourself, creating the state before you start to do something about it. Every time, do it, start practicing this right now, and see what will happen.